the, the screen is one of the most important part on the audio side when the speakers are hidden because you need to have the best transparency and the acoustical response. Let's say you create a lot of anomalies, let's put it this way. It's not only that you lose some SPL through the screen, but screen can and does generate reflections. So that means you get cancellations in some frequencies and in some others not. And that means you get a lot of non-linearity from an otherwise linear speaker. What's amazing about CMOR Screen Excellence is they're, they're acoustically transparent screens, woven screens are just amazing. They don't impact the sound, so we're getting the best sound we can from the speaker system, which of course makes our products even sound better. We're all about immersive audio and we, we feel like we do it better than anyone else. But you know, we're also, the other part of that immersive audio experience is gonna be video. And you know, having the right video partners as far as projection and of course screens being the most important part are part of that. Once the screen is not impacting the sound, then we're really all we're dealing with is the acoustics of the space, which we handle with our DSP processing and our, and our calibration of the features. Everybody likes to play with DSP, but more we keep naturality, better it is. So what does this mean? We can higher the volume, it's not a problem. But if we start if we start to play with EQ, with curves, with everything, for sure we can have a get very good result. But if the speaker is good, your screen is transparent, linear, you only need to do very simple things and you get the end result in a very easy way. And same word is very good, I can say. For us, um, a screen that is at most transparent and creates the least anomalies is the best screen, and in this case, Seymour's screen, I mean, it's top-notch, it's the best screen, period.